Angus Cloud, the main reason to to what it seems, right, mm -hmm. his passing, um, was due to his father passing. I still, I can still remember how quiet it, everything got Jeez. the day he passed. Like you could hear a freaking pin drop in China. Uh, sympathize with others' feelings. I always get confused with sympathize and empathize. Yeah, sympathize is like, it's not the actual, empathize is like you do feel it, and sympathy is like more compassion for it. Uh, but, um, I mean, when it's warranted, yes, but I'd say like most of the time, like no, like a two, because mm. um, I understand like, you know, I don't always, I can never 100% know how anyone is feeling like at the end of the day. Like sometimes people like, I've talked to people and like their loved one just died the day before and sometimes it's just their Starbucks order just got wrong and now they're in a mood and it's like, yeah, I get it. But, you know, your your feelings, it's very hard for your feelings to di dictate your reality. Mm. When When certain things had happened to me, like as far as like, you know, a certain loved one of mine passed away um, not too long ago. It's like, yeah, this is a real bummer. But feeling this way isn't going to change anything. All we can do is move forward. So what I'm going to do is use this as a reason and not an excuse. And I don't, and it's not a good idea to stay stagnant either in your feelings. You need to manage them, hopefully get over them. And then that's that because the longer you stay, it's, it's like a, it's like the, what is it? Law of diminishing intent. Like if you intend on doing something and the longer you put it off or procrastinate actually, uh, the less likely you are actually to do it. That's why impulse is such a huge thing. But being able to recognize, hey, I'm feeling a certain way. Um, let's see what we can do about it and fix it and do it like start like not it doesn't have to be fixed tonight or tomorrow or in a week, but take steps. One of the things I, I just wanted to add, one of the things I think is really, really interesting um, and not to, obviously you shared your story, mm -hmm. so we understand the context. So for those who don't know, um, Angus Cloud, the main reason to to what it seems, right, mm -hmm. his passing, um, was due to his father passing. And that is some mm -hmm. similar situation to you as well, where you've had your father who had passed. What, what do you, what, but the approach you took was a little bit different. It seems mm -hmm. like you definitely took the more of like, okay, um, see this as an opportunity to do something, right? Um, mm -hmm. Try to make the most out of the situation, try to see the positives of that situation. Um, but what do you, you know, if people are going through this like, really dark side, you know, especially, I think that's, man, as you might probably can yeah. relate, you know, um, how, how, would, how would you best su suggest someone to go through that who may be going through something similar? I think my best piece, uh, so yeah, my best piece of advice for people like that is to, like a, a young man who had, like you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? A very similar situation. Sure. Um, yeah. What has helped you or and or uh, what do you suggest for someone who may have lost a, f a loved one, especially a father figure? Because that's a big thing for a, for a, a boy. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's terrible. And, I mean, you know, obviously one day you are going to bury your dad. And unfortunately for... Mm. In our, in our situations, I guess, is right. it happened way earlier than we'd wanted to and or ever wanted to. And uh, I would say the most important thing is having some kind of routine and some kind of healthy, like, habit or solution to, like, fill in that gap a little bit. Like, um, please stay away from drugs unless you absolutely, absolutely have to. And there's no other option. Like... I, th that, I think that's a big issue nowadays too. It's just that we're very quick to just go on the on the on the what are they called the opioids. Everyone's really quick to go on the opioids or on the antidepressants. It's like you need to be able you need to make sure that you try everything else. Those are you shouldn't be messing with brain chemistry right away. You should like hey get a good night's rest, take a shower, do something, make yourself something nice to eat, and treat yourself. You know, go out, have some fun with some friends. You just had a horrible experience. So replace that with positive experiences. Mm. I think that'll help. And you know what? Maybe you're not going to be feeling this. Obviously, I would not expect you to feel the same when you're going out and doing everything. No one really is. Um, but 
that that's just how it is. Like no one could, um, no one, no one can truly prepare you for loved ones, but death. No, like even though I knew that my dad was eventually going to pass, like it was a horrible disease and we could see the decline and everything. It's like, I still, I can still remember how quiet it, everything got Jeez. the day he passed. Like you could hear a freaking pin drop in China. Like that's how quiet it was. Like I just, it just felt like everything stood completely still. And I was like, wow, this is, this is real. You don't expect anything to, you expect, usually in the movies, you always expect something to happen or like some sort of sign or whatever, but it literally just, and you're just, I'm, I'm almost shocked by how like, there's nothing there. There's no theatrics. There's no cinematography to it. It just happens. But the, I would say, yeah, the most important thing is just to find something that's going to help fill in that gap. I mean, they do that with like drug addicts all the time or smokers. They usually pick up something that's like, like for smokers, um, instead of smoking, they'll give them like a fidget spinner or something or like a popper so they can get over the mechanical because the, the chemical goes away pretty quickly. But the mechanical stuff, they give you something or they, they're just eating chips all the time, doing something with their hands or whatever. Do something that's going to like kind of replace all the negativity with a positive motion. So it's if it's you, if it's going in the gym, it's just walking outside, taking everything in or just praying or meditating for like five minutes every day or just writing a word down in a journal. Like do something. Don't don't do drugs. <laughs> Not to beat a dead horse. Just don't do drugs unless you absolutely have to. Yeah. 